Whether you're a streamer or whether you're just looking for a tool to upgrade your productivity, the Stream Deck is a nice to have. But it's not perfect and it runs into issues from time to time. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do if your Stream Deck is not connecting to your PC. So the first thing that you would want to do is that you'd want to check whether you're connected to your PC properly or not. Make sure that the plug is all the way in. Make sure that you're using a USB 2 port and not a USB 3 port. And if you've got the Stream Deck Neo, the one that runs with a Type-C connection, make sure that you're not running it through a USB hub because sometimes a hub doesn't provide the proper power that the Stream Deck needs in order to be able to properly connect to your system. The next thing that we can do is restart the Stream Deck software. So the way this works is that if I launch my Stream Deck program right here, you can see that this is running just fine. Uh, if I close it, it's not going to shut down completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this bottom right corner, right click this and click on quit Stream Deck. This will ask you for uh, are you sure because as soon as you quit Stream Deck, your stream, uh, the software, your Stream Deck becomes a break. So click quit. Stream Deck is now gone and now I'm just going to open up the start menu and search for Stream Deck. Launch the program. Give it some time to load up and as you can see, the Stream Deck app is now up and running and it should be working just fine. Next thing to do is to run your Stream Deck application as an administrator. Now uh, doing this is also very simple. You can just close Stream Deck like I just showed you and then open the start menu, search for Stream Deck and in here you can either right click this option and click on run as administrator or you can just choose to run it as an administrator from here. Uh, once you do, uh, this should run up and uh, it should start working properly. If this fixes your issue and you want Stream Deck to open with admin privileges every time you launch it, what you're going to have to do is just search for Stream Deck again. And this time we're going to come here and click on open file location. Now this will give me uh, the shortcut for the Stream Deck. So I'm going to right click it and go to open file location once again until I find the Stream Deck executable file wherever you've installed the program. So let me just right click it once again. Um, go to properties. In here, head over to the compatibility tab and now uh, just check the run this program as an administrator icon. Go ahead, click apply and you're good to go. Moving on, uh, it's important that you run your Stream Deck software on your primary monitor. Now, this is a weird bug that the Stream Deck software has, but if for some reason, for example, I have two monitors and if I move this one to my secondary monitor, in some cases, it might stop working. So if I change cameras now and I come back to this overlay, uh, what you will notice is, uh, or not you, but I notice is that my buttons sometimes stop responding. This is a bit of a hit and miss thing. So just make sure that you're using your Stream Deck software on the primary monitor. An alternative to this is if you click the settings icon and head over to general, you will uh, see an option to use your Stream Deck on a particular display. Now uh, make sure your primary display is selected on it if you see that option. If not, uh, chances are you're pretty much good and you don't really need to do this. The next thing is to update your Stream Deck software and or firmware. Doing this is once again very simple. All you have to do is uh, click on the settings gear icon. And uh, in general, you will see this check for updates button. Just click it. The Stream Deck program will automatically check if there are any updates available. As you can see, mine is on the latest version. And then for your device, if you head over to the devices tab, uh, you can check the firmware version that you have here. Then you can cross reference it, it with Elgato's website just to make sure that you have the latest firmware for your Stream Deck. Make sure that the both the program and the Stream Deck are up to date and uh, the error should go away. 
finally if you really can't get your stream deck to up be up and running you're going to have to go look through device manager uninstall the device and come back again how do we do this press windows key plus x to open the quick access menu and in here you will see this device manager option you give us second for device manager to load up uh, in here scroll down to universal serial bus devices so usb devices open up and uh, you might see something here or not so as you can see this is app mode this is not the stream deck uh, generally you'll have something called universal serial bus controller and uh, then it will list all of your usb devices here what you have to do is that if your stream deck is causing problems and it's not connecting properly you will see a warning triangle on um, at least one of these devices whatever device you see that warning triangle on just go ahead right click and then click on uninstall device device manager will ask you if you really want to uninstall this device from your system we really do so go ahead and click uninstall then uh, once the installation is done unplug your stream deck and uh, replug it and that should fix the problem if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if we helped you solve your stream deck problems or if you have any other questions i'll be right there talking to you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video